Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today's video is going to be pretty special because we are finally going to be doing some bandos. We are also going to try our best to get ourselves a fury and on top of that a suffering as well. Now the reason for suffering is because if I do bandos in fury combined with a suffering, I think my relic could potentially carry me through the entire bandos fight to the point where my trips there could be extremely long. Now in order to get a suffering we're gonna be needing to kill some demonic gorillas and we need to get a zenite shard as a drop from them so hopefully we get lucky and we also need to do a bunch of crafting training so let's jump right into it. Well then one level at the time we need to reach 94. Oh boy, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough one. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna do all of this in this video because that would just be not fun, <laughs> and it would take too long. But hey, a level at a time. At some point, we'll reach it. But first, like big big milestone would actually be level 85. If I manage to reach 85 crafting, what I can then do is I can create myself a suffering ring, and a suffering ring would be much much better than nothing than the ring that gives no stats, like a ring of wealth, for example. That is 82. And I think I need to go back to mining because I ran out of silver bars. I just finished watching DVS's video and he provided me with some very interesting information that I was not aware of. First one being that I should probably be wearing my Averok body when I'm doing silver ore because I can get sometimes four instead of two. And on top of that, I can have mining gloves as well, which I have these identified minerals and I didn't really know that I had them because they went straight to my bank. Uh, so if I buy, uh, if I trade this guy, I can go ahead and buy these mining gloves and that's also going to speed things up for me. So that is very, very nice. Look, you see, it just mines an ore, but it doesn't deplete it. Look at this. And you just keep getting silver bar, silver bar, silver bar. Oh, I did so many of these without even knowing about this trick. So if you guys are doing this, make sure you get yourself mining gloves and Varax armor. It is so good. And that is 91 mining. The XP in mining when you do this is also not too bad. It's not quite comparable to mining iron ore, for example, which is about 1.7, 1.8 mil an hour. This one is about 1 million or like 900k an hour, but you know what? It's quite good. Here we go. I've been alk mining for quite a little bit up to 93 mining, but also most importantly, I'm almost smithing level. That doesn't really matter, but let's check. I have over 2400 tiaras, basically silver bars that I can make into tiaras, and that is a lot of XP. That's like 2 million XP, I think. With our recent decision in training crafting, I can now finally make myself some magic logs. Uh, when I do these birdhouses and that means we should be completing another task here. There it is and it's a big one. I mean it's a hundred points but I just got an agility level by using this shortcut. I had no idea I was this close. I do believe with all the time I spent crafting I'll be able to reach well over 85 crafting. So I'm really looking forward to that. 84... Well, here's 85 crafting and I can now boost for suffering. Now I do want to do... I do want to test out one thing that I haven't experienced yet because obviously I'm still editing, right? It's obvious because I'm crafting. So what if I try and kill some Vyres in hopes of a blood shard? Because if I get a blood shard combined with my tier 6 relic, I can probably do Inferno extremely easily or any other pieces of content really. Um, so it could also be extremely useful if I then make a Fury, add it on and then I can basically sit at Bandos forever or I sit on Zemi forever. It would be really, really beneficial with my current Relic, uh, which is, you know, Eternal Jeweler. I can't just teleport back and go straight into PVMing. It's not how it works, so I have to do it the good old fashioned way. If you're wondering why the Wire Watch, I figure it's like the best thing to do while editing alongside Skeletal Wyverns. Uh, because I can just, per my AFK, they're always aggressive and whenever I want to pay some attention, I can also hit them while I'm alking. It's very simple to get to this spot as well. I just teleport, grab a task and then straight back here. So I'm probably gonna finish off my 99 defense while editing the current video and uh, I'm just gonna be alking all the way. Hey, 97 defense, two more levels to go, lovely. There it is, 98 defense, the video is nearly done and I might honestly just stay here till 99, so we have 99 attack strength, defense, oh and HP is almost there as well. <gasps> yes, I got it, I did not expect to get it, 
we got ourselves the blood shard wow the blood shard is going to allow us after we create the fury to more or less sit in bandos or zami or zili or sara for as long as we want this is going to be so game changing for our account especially since we do not have the teleport back relic we need to rely on sustaining when it comes to godwards especially this is going to be so huge but now i need to train my crafting well technically i only need to get one more level and i can boost for a fury damn i didn't expect that i was just chilling editing and here we go a blood shard my new task is going to be to kill some smoke devils we can get an occult necklace from there and that's pretty much all we are gonna be going for i will be killing a boss to make it more fun all right so for the first kill i think i just killed this guy and then from there i think i might be able to have infinite trips with my relic i'm not sure but we're gonna give it a shot 250 for that one wow all right let's give it a shot no attack potions no strength potions no prayer just piety am i out sustaining the boss or am i taking damage let's see i forgot the dds that's the first thing i noticed and the thing is when and if my hp drops i just chuck a redemption on and it will heal and then i'll hit it once and i'll have prayer back so uh this will be very very chill i think I'm gonna enjoy that, uh, but anyways, 250 points for killing that one as well, sick. So, this is what I mean, right? My HP goes down, and then I can put it right back on like that, but it might be a bit more sketchy than I originally thought, but I'm sure I'll be fine. And there it is, level 99 hit points, and one more to go. I think I'll reach it even on this task, so that is very, very cool. And we got sand fuels, nice. Those are actually quite valuable as well later on. Uh, but yeah, very happy with this one. Uh, basically, a little bit to go for the defense as well. I'm quite enjoying this thermonuclear with this attack speed, I'm not gonna lie. Actually need to train it. <gasps> oh, we're done. 28 KC is all it takes to complete a boss in Trailblazer League. Uh, there it is, 250 extra points. So this whole shebang got a 700 and 50 points now the part of me wants to stay here but then the second part of me does not want to do anything with this because i don't need anything else from here uh, but i think it can also dro drop you a smoke battle stuff so i'll look into it if that is a task and if it isn't we're just gonna move on to something else like us another superior we've killed 50 superiors that's sick uh we'll see which one is the one that i can complete for some lorons and stuff one more hit there it is, 99 defense with that. We now completed attack, strength, defense, and hit points. So now I can train on shared until 25 mils. Which one is it? I Please be the other one. Yes, I can ma I can now open a chest, which is a, ch which is a task. I can make a glory, which would be sick. And then I can charge the glory after completing heroes. Oh, and then I have infinite teleports to like really important places. I need If I get a heart, man, that would be so game changing right now. All right, here we go. That should be a simple task. But the most important thing about this one is that I actually get a dragon stone out of it. That's 50. We cut it and we quickly go to a furnace. Click this. We click that. We attach the bull to an amulet. Bull. I just said bull. I meant the ball. And that was actually 100 points. And then we enchant it. And we make a glory, perfect. I think that strength amulet is better, but it's gonna be extremely useful for when I need to teleport around the game, especially since I have unlimited teleports. And the reason why I think Strength Emmy is more useful is because I get increased accuracy from my relics. Speak to Emily, Mind Bomb, bring the Mind Bomb, level three enchant, I mean level six enchant, Onyx Bracelet. There it is, we now have a regen bracelet, which is a permanent best in slot for us. I could go and get myself a Fury right now, but I think I'll just go and do some gorillas with just an amulet of glory. Alright, we've killed one demonic gorilla so far. Let's get some Zenites. Well, honestly, for now, I think one Zenite is all I want. Because that is a ring of suffering and that would be huge. If we get a Zenite, I'm going back to Barrows to get more Chaos and Deference. Hey, we got a range level. We're gonna get a bunch of these, probably. Well, that's our first brew, basically. I could stack these, but it's too late, right? Let me do it again. Oh, I got a Ballista Spring. Nice. First drop on the gorilla. Skill count number 39. Very nice. Yes. Yes. 
Nice, kill count number 87 boys, and we got it. And this means that we can now create either a suffering or a anguish. However, my first ring choice will be suffering. It's gonna help us win Bandos, it's gonna help us with Zami. It's gonna be extremely useful, especially when we add recalls to it as well. The ring is gonna be amazing. Um, in combination with a Blood Amulet of Fury, it's going to be insanely strong combo to the point where I believe... Something like a Bandos will be very, very easy to do. Alright, we just sold enough Chaos Rune for 520,000 total. Okay, that's the first one. Let's hop worlds. Trade this guy and buy another one. Sick, there we go. And we're broke again, lovely. Let's go make Suffering, let's go make Fury. Oh, there it is. Uncut Zenite, nice. Okay, I do not want to fuck anything up, so let's try to first make one of Onyx Amulet. And let's also do this. So that's gonna be a Fury. And that's 250 points. Alright, and for the Zenite, I just need to pot again because I lost the boost already. We click this, we click this. That is going to be Ring of Suffering. Oh my god, we're looking... Dude, let's go. Oh, that's so huge. But now, we need to train magic to level 90, so I can then cast the level 7 enchantment. But first, we can actually cast level 6 enchantment already. All I need is a wizard mind bomb. There we go, level 6 enchantment over on the onyx amulet. And would you look at that, an amulet of fury. Not only that, we also have a blood chart, which I think I will attach to it when I finish off my magic training. And then whenever I do not need a fury, I will just use a glory instead. I think that's a solid way to go about it. Later on when I have more money, I'll just buy another fury. So I have a regular fury and then I also have a fury that has a blood chart in it, if that makes sense. But that's all for the future. For now, we need to do some magic training. Well, I just equipped the ring, even though it wasn't charged, and I got 250 points. <laughs> I didn't even know, man, I didn't even know. There it is, level 90 magic, and with a pot, we now are able to level 7 enchant. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, I'm pretty excited, honestly. I am pretty damn excited. I already have the wizard mind bomb. We click it, we use it. There it is, a ring of suffering. And that is not all. We are also going to attach a blood shard to the Amulet of Fury, creating a brand new blood shard with the Amulet of Fury. Amulet of Blood Fury, and that is another 250 point task. A lot of tasks have been done without me even wanting to do them, if that makes sense, but this is going to be huge. If we check 10,000 hits with this, and then combine that basically with a 10th whip, so... The plan is going to be to AFK Vire so I can collect more of these shards and then do TOB so I can get a Rapier because Rapier doesn't need charges like Tentacle Whip does. However, it is time to put this all to the test and do a little bit of Bandos because look at this gear. We got the Region Bracelet, we got the Suffering, we got the Blood Amulet of Fury. I think I can have some very long, nice trips over at Bandos. I started this bando trip on kill count number 17. Let's see how long we can stay here for. Please. Bando's boots. Okay. Well, well it is an item, okay? I got something. Now if I get 10 Bando's boots, I can be like, I'm so unlucky. And I no longer need to bring Bando's plate legs for KC, so it, it, it's something, but it's so shit. It's worse than what I have, obviously. But 37 KC and we got something, woo! Well, at least I have a shit ton of food on the floor, so it's okay. Gods are charred. Okay, that's good. We will need those. Nice. Very nice. I'm happy with that. Gods are charred. That's solid. I am going to end this trip sooner. I could have stayed here. I have a bunch of supplies still left, but I don't have pots anymore. And I feel like I'm just kind of dragging myself a bit down by doing that. 
But yeah, the trips can be insanely long. Next time, I'm bringing three supersets instead because, like, I just need potions. And I can also bring Alks because a lot of Alks are on the floor. Uh, but yeah, that was a really, really fun. I'm also gonna look into maybe not bringing Amulet of Fury anymore and just have shorter trips intentionally. Just because getting this, like, it already costed 1.3k uh, charges, so... And we ended on 58 KC, so that was basically insane. I could have stayed there for quite a bit longer, um, but I just wanted to end it because of no supersets left. And we got Bendos Boots, we got the Godsword Chard. Nothing special yet, but, you know, we have... We know we can do large trips, so it's just a matter of time where we get all the items. If you have the same tier 6 relic as me, the one that gives you back hit points and prayer and you combine it with the suffering and the blood amulet of fury, I was able to get over 41 KC Bando strip and I'm very bad at the boss. However, even if you do not flick between mage and melee hit and you just camp melee with piety, I guarantee you, you too can get probably 30 plus kill strips easily, even if you don't have a teleport back relic. If you have the teleport back relic, that doesn't really matter, because you can just go back and back in as soon as possible, but if you are a turner jeweler like I am, then that is a very very helpful thing to know, and and I think Bandos is gonna be lots of fun to do more of in the future. Nice. Okay, so we just got Ballista Limbs. And if you're wondering what am I doing at Gorillas again, I do want to get myself uh, three more Zenites uh, so I can make every single piece of jewelry. Now how long that'll take me, I don't know, but I'm just finishing my task slowly and surely and getting my range up. We started at 74, now it's already 82. No. Again, another, an another, okay. Ooh, I think I have this already. Imagine getting 2000 total accidentally while cleaning the herbs on a farm run. So that just happened to me. We got a bunch of points for it, 250 I believe. Um, and I just woke up as well. So wasn't ready f to record this clip at all, but it's a good one. 2000 total level already. Another farming level, we do these every day now because we do so many birdhouses that we actually have seeds in order to plant all the trees, so yeah, 81, this should be 99 very very quick. I can also plant dragon fruit, I have one in the bank, there's probably a task for that. And here's 82, so I just realized I could easily do Lumbridge Elite Diaries and that would give me so much XP that I could even put in crafting or runecraft or herb lore, whatever it is. And firstly, I need to craft full inventory of Cosmics. Now, in order to do that, I do need to have Tiara, so I'm doing basically two runs of it. Also, I've never crafted uh, 50 Cosmics, so that's going to be another task. But basically, right now, I'll just try and get as many diary steps completed in every single one that I possibly can finish. And then after that, we're going to do some quests and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I think I can make a lot of experience very, very quickly. So we're making tiara just like so, we're putting this on for later, we're crafting this that should maybe, oh wait, craft 50 cosmic runes straight away, uh, but there is another task where I need to I think craft 56 or something, alright here we go, let's see if this works, it should be for a Lumbridge diary and correct, there we go, uh, there is one that is very very scary, collect at least 100 tiers of gothics in one visit, now if you do not know, the more quests you have done, the easier it is to collect tears because the longer you can stay inside the tears of gothics. But if you are to fail this one, you need to wait you need to wait an entire week before you can try it again. It's a weekly thing. So I'm probably going to go ahead and try and do as many quests as I can that I know I will need. I'll give you some examples like Haunted Mine, Heroes Quest, maybe Legends Quest, stuff like that before I do it, just so I, you know, feel a little bit safer of getting 100 tiers. Outside of that, I planted my Belladonna, and I'm gonna get this Mining Helmet, and I'm gonna put the XP Lamp into Runecrafting, and then I'll be able to do Elite as well. So I'm very well prepared right here. I'll put everything in, into Runecrafting, because if I get it up to 91 through tasks, I can then complete Elite Karamja Diaries as well. So it all kind of connects 88 crafting. Also, while I'm crafting, I made a list of quests that I can complete and I will complete. Okay, Shield of Arav is the first one to be completed. The next one is going to be Heroes. And the reason why that one will be so important is because we'll be able to charge our glory with infinite teleport charges. That will be very, very useful. 
All right, and here we go. I should have brought my glory to enchant it, but for now this one is all I wanted to do, Hero's Quest. I might look into completing Legends as well, because then I can make my combat bracelet charged as well, but the teleports there are not that important for me. So let me go grab my glory, we charge it, and then you'll see how OP that is. You're gonna burn. Yeah, I have, I'm praying mage, I'll be fine. I feel like it's a task, but maybe it isn't, because I killed it under the thing anyways. <laughs> Who wins? One, one Punch Man or yeah. big scary <laughs> Dragoon? A fucking dragon, <laughs> Come on, fucker, what you gotta do? That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. There we go, come on. Easy. <laughs> Easy! It's not even a task, I swear. Uh, Never mind, it was a hard Falador area. I just punched a dragon to death. Nice. And this is why I did this quest, after using a glory on the fountain, would you look at that, 50 points, but that's not it. I can also have permanent teleport right next to the bank, like right next to the bank, like boom, Edgeville. I can also go Karamja, and that's it, I think. I can't go Alcarit, oh, and Draenor Village, that's an important one. Getting to Draenor can be quite annoying, but if you have this, you're right here, so very happy with this. Alright, so when you unlock Mauritania, this watermelon patch is already ready, basically. So look, you complete a Mauritania task by just picking these up, and I never planted them. And on top of that, I'm also able to make myself a Scarecrow, which is for an easy diary. You can buy an empty sack in any farmer's store. Okay, let's try again. So I use this with this. Boom. And then I use this with this. But that was very simple, and the diary step, just like that. And now I'll go ahead and do my quest. Here we go, we cut this and the quest is done. This is the first quest I've done using Quest Helper from Runelight and oh my god, it's so easy to do quests with that. What? It's so broken. How is that even allowed? Anyways, we're gonna get a full inventory of these um, just because I'll use these in TOB and I'll also enchant just one in uh, the Nightmare Zone. Uh, but we have to cut it. I don't have balls of wool with me, do I? And here we are, we are making a bunch of these right now, and now I need to do a Tarn Laser mini quest or something like that. Tarn, tarn Razor or something, I don't know. Uh, and that's gonna be nice because I'll be able to enchant these as well. I just used a Slayer Ring to teleport right here. That's so broken! I don't even need to go through the whole thing. Okay, that's so good actually. I thought I would need to do this whole shebang again, and no I don't. And there it is, I think that does it. Yep. 5,000 Slayer XP, meaning that we can now also go right through this passageway and we can collect ourselves a Tarn Diary. And what we can do with that is... Oh, okay, it opens up this thing or whatever. But most importantly, we'll be able to use that on a salve. So let's go ahead and go to Nightmare Zone to do that. We're just gonna use this on all of them. And that creates a salve amulet E. And now I'll just go to Watchtower, which is... Okay, we give this man 800,000 gold pieces to imbue one. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna constantly be dropping a, a, this one every single time I do TOB. Maybe I'll just sneak it in my inventory and never actually drop it. But I don't really know the difference or anything, but we have that done for the future. If I want to make more of these, I can make them very, very fast. I've been trying to record an outro for a bit, but... I don't know if you can hear it. It's, oh, it's pissing me off. Five more slow, slow levels and we'll be able to make ourselves a torture. Lovely. And just like that, we are going to be ending the video over here. The stats at the end of it are absolutely wonderful. 99 in basically all combats and we also have 91 crafting. I'm currently gathering around 3000 silver bars in order to finish off my 94 crafting grind. In order to have the crafting level to even go ahead and make a torture. That is a little bit of a plan for the future video alongside many more gorillas, alongside more bandos more Zami and then the the TOB and so many fun stuff is gonna happen in the next few days so I'm very excited and if you are as well consider subscribing especially if you made it this deep into the video consider giving the video a like and we are almost at 90,000 subscribers very very happy I'll see you all again tomorrow have a good one and bye bye